So we start, Lordo, with your Bombers, and you're a part of this story. Dyson Heppel, the Essendon captain, in an emotional and at times fruity, it must be said, interview, hit back at some of your criticism, I guess, on the weekend and gave us a further insight of how Essendon are hurting tonight. Let's get into the Bombers and hear from Matthew on the weekend and Dyson as well. You never, ever want to be walked over in life or disrespected in any way. And I thought Dylan Shear was disrespected in a way you never want to be treated as a footballer. And this was the next contest. I would have ploughed straight through Parker here. I had no idea it was happening in the moment. I hadn't even seen the vision. That was the first time. So if you're aware of it in the moment, I have no doubt teammates will go straight over and help and support. Have you spoken about it as a group? Have you addressed that moment as a group? No, mate, no. I hadn't, I hadn't seen that vision at all, no. lloyd has got every right to say that, no doubt. Everyone has their own opinion, that's fine. But what does he want Dylan to plough through someone, give away a free kick, give away a 50 metre penalty and another goal? You know, this day and age, free kicks are given away so quickly. And... I think that the hardness and the firmness and what you're talking about in being a nice football team, it's, it's not about giving away free kicks or showing full-blown aggression. Or It's when the ball's there to be won. That's what we want to stand for. We need to just find that vibrant and energy and, and work towards it. You know, I, I do. I feel the emotion, mate. And it's, you know, I want to absolutely have full belief. Wow, it was a confronting response. The two inappropriate uses of the language there as well thrown in. Um, how did you feel watching that? And he was quite defensive when it came to your observations. Yeah, I'm fine. I think everyone's got different opinions. Uh, I, I did grow up in a different era uh, where I, I think it was a, probably uh, a, a game where you could get away with a little bit more and things like that. But I wasn't talking about 50 metres and uh, you know, bowling someone over in terms of getting suspended. I think Melbourne play a ruthless, tough brand of footy. And I think uh, even Essendon yesterday, they got smashed contested possession, smashed uncontested possession, 10 goals they lose by Hutchie playing the way they play. So to me, why not try something? Why not throw your weight around? And why not try something to stimulate the players around you? Because for whatever reason, what they speak about... We had Andrew McGrath four yep. or five weeks ago, Hutch, speak said all these words, but nothing is changing. So that, that is my way of going about things to try and stimulate. So what's happening with that group in that midfield? It's not, it's you know, small signs and then it regresses again, 30 tackles on the weekend. It's just coming apart. It is, it is Hutchie, but um, as I said, like, this, Brayshaw's tough, Mills is tough, Cripps is tough, Took Miller's tough, Petrarca's tough. You wouldn't say there's a physicality amongst those players and Kane, that's what I was getting at yesterday. I find it amazing that the captain of the Essendon Football Club on Monday night hasn't seen that vision. Now, even if he's not on social media, if he doesn't read the papers, you've got a media manager there whose job it is to brief their players and we can ask Sam Mitchell, the coach, about that role. But he's going on a live TV interview on a Monday night and hasn't seen... He was briefed, though. In the fact, he knew about it. He hadn't but seen he, the vision, Sam. So, you'd, so, you'd want to see it, wouldn't you? You'd uh, want to, if you were told about uh, it... I, 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 player, I find that... Unbelievable. The, the coaches, the players are briefed before every media appearance that they do. That's the, so they, they, maybe that's a reflection of the whole club and, and how they are run. And the second part to that is Dylan Shields, the most under fire player in the competition right now. He's the captain of the footy club, hasn't picked up the phone to ring Dylan Shield, who is under the pump. His courage has been questioned well, six times. Yeah. No, he did. He said he hasn't, sp hasn't, hasn't, spoken hasn't spoken to him, hasn't seen okay. the player, hasn't addressed the issue, hasn't seen the vision. Six times an opposition player is questioning his courage and the captain of the footy right. club hasn't, hasn't rung his teammate to show some support. I, I find that unbelievable. And it's a reflection of how the club's been running. But I, I found it more interesting that the coach after the game didn't go out of his way to defend the treatment of Dylan. I mean, how many times have we sat at this desk and talked about Damien Hardwick? Sometimes, you know, Kara sat here and says he, he's gone too far in defending his players, but he gets a response. It just talks to the lack of confidence in, in, all, in a lot of sections of that it, footy club right it now. It talks to the nice footy club that yeah. we've talked to. Speaking of, he was asked about this tonight on, uh, on Fox as well. He's entrance to the ground on the weekend. Now it's his 30th birthday, it's a 200th game. He had 60, he said, in his words, family and friends there with tickets, or approximately 60. Certainly there's a lot of people there. And I don't think we've ever seen this before. I was interested in your view, Lord Owen. I know, as Dyson said, it's not a thing that we win the game and I'm going to thank these people for what they've done for me. So he defended it well. But what's your take on this? Are you comfortable with this? I am, because I think footy's a tough game. And Essendon are going through hell at the moment. He is, and his team are. And if you can't enjoy the joys of milestones, and if you can get your family out there, so be it. But I don't think you have the same view, Hutch. 
Where do you sit on this? Well, I've run out on the field with my kids before, and it's a great memory. So I haven't seen anything like that. I'm more critical of after the game. Like they've had no, some no tackles during the game. By yeah, the way. they've had yeah. some bad losses, and they've been smiling and laughing after the game. I, I don't like that before the game with with your family. Look, it's doesn't matter what happens after a sign, does it? Yeah, it does. You Why? Gotta, you, Why you, does it matter? Your supporters are hurting. They've paid their membership. They're flat, and you've got players who have laid 30 tackles for the game. Smiling with your opponent, shaking hands, going out of the way to tell stories. Yeah, I, I just think we've gone we've gone past no, that. We'll... I think the more interesting thing, Hachi, I think that in the last 24 hours, there has been an internal concession at the Essendon Footy Club that the game plan that Ben Rutten and Blake Carousella are trying to evolve into this footy club, particularly since the end of last year, isn't working, and I think they're going to strip it back. When you say they, is it this a decision that the coaches have made to? to change tack on the game plan or has this been a club request that they reconsider their position? I think several sections of the footy club have had a conversation and I think you'll see the game plan being stripped what right back. What and does that mean, several sections? Well, I mean, you can, you can make your own summations, but I, I think that holistically the club believes that whatever they're trying to do with the next phase of their game plan hasn't worked and while they can still salvage the season, so you, let's you, go back. Just to be, you're saying he's been tapped on the shoulder and said... You're trying to be too tricky and go back to basics. I think that there might have been an element of that and there's probably been an element of Ben coming to a realisation of that himself. Could only be a football director, in my opinion, who could have the, the, the know-how to tell a senior AFL coach... I think that uh, the players you, can tell you, it as well. Well, you'd be, you'd be pretty the players could tell. But the, you, don't, you don't let the players <laughs> tell you... You'd be it happened before yeah. at different clubs. It happened at Carlton not long ago. You'd be a pretty brave. Yeah. You'd be a pretty brave Essendon player right now to walk in and say the game plan is too complicated because all well, game plans rely on effort. Yep. And if you're not giving effort, yeah. doesn't matter if you've got Clarkson, whoever, Kevin Sheedy, Mick, coaching. It does but, not matter. But if the, the effort, players don't provide effort. But is the effort not a, game, not a simple, game plan? Is, is that not a reflection? No, of the, the, coach? E the effort comes first, then then the game plan. You, you can't have any game plan if you've got no effort, and they've got no effort.